finally time to upgrade my solar panel system. I'm already running a lot of my shop off of it, except for the lights. The landlord, who doesn't charge me for the electricity, said, Yeah, just keep running the lights on us. Okay. I don't feel like rewiring that. Whenever Opez sent me their Mega 2 power pack, power station, power generator, they uh, offered one panel of solar panels. And I was like, well, could you send me two? So they sent me two. I sweet talked them into it. And what I want to test is, can these handle being outside for an extended period of time? And can I have this system run the air conditioner sometimes when it's hot or run a heater? Here's my current panel system. It's about 500 watts of BP panels. And I have one inch insulation underneath it to help just stop the heat from coming into the building. Then over here, I got some one and a half inch insulation and put some, some, some foil on the outside. You know, I had worried about this blowing away, but I've had a lot of flat things lay up here before. And it's never really been much of a problem. And it was only just now that I realized these are very robustly heavy. So it probably won't even be an issue. Let me flip this around. Much better. Now the power outlet's over there. And I should be able to just feed this wire through the skylight. Now each one of these seems to be about 24 volts. But let's check again while it's in direct sunlight. I'm so glad that I uncovered this original skylight because it was just covered up in like 2012 and they put this horrible particle board over it. It was just deteriorating. And so I decided to restore it. And in the future, I happen to have a neighbor who will probably be removing an original 1940s copper skylight. Maybe I'll put it on here. Well, that's one panel up. Let's go down and test this. See how much power we get. And then we can put the other panel up. I'm thinking part of my test will be, now this is an ideal situation because we have this big building that stops the wind and anything flat doesn't seem to blow around much. Even in the toughest storms, there seems to be a really big difference between the wind temperature here, here, and then here. So anything up here gets blown around, but anything down here, even pieces of paper, don't really seem to get blown too much. So I still think, though, it would be useful information. So if you have a flat roof somewhere that's fairly shielded like this, let's just not tie this down and see what happens. I mean, it is tethered. It has a cable, so we can see. I measured it. It's actually at about 23 volts. So I have something else to tell you guys. Opez gave a code to get a survival bag. And I didn't really know what that meant. But whenever Thice's mom and aunt bought three of these units for their... Well, they keep getting blackouts. And um, the survival bags finally came. And they're actually a, a backpack full of camping gear. I was kind of surprised. So I think it's Renoa bag. B-A-G is the uh, the code. Absolutely ludicrous sounding code, but it actually does give an entire bag, like maybe $50 worth in camping supplies. I thought that was kind of funny. Normally they just give a 5% discount, but you actually get some interesting gadgets. Okay, so 48 volts. Now the one thing is these power modules oh gosh I, there's no good name for these power pack power generator power supply power power i can never remember the goddamn name for these things station power station we really need a better name for these so the power station okay so we're at 86 volts. They don't like low voltage. So let's see if adding the second panel, maybe that will improve things. It is inching up. So that's probably the MPPT, the maximum PowerPoint tracking 
actually tracking the best voltage. So we'll put the other solar panel out. Oh gosh, the bells are going off. And then we'll come back down and see how much the one panel is doing and then put this one in circuit to see if it works better. Gosh, the heat emanating or being reflected by this roofing. It's just immense. Might as well save this stuff for other uses. Some nice foam. So that's how they look whenever they're brand new and just installed. I'm curious how they'll hold up. You know, the cable going down there. Okay, 120 watts on a slightly cloudy day. Now let's put these both together so it'll be getting 50 volts. And now I believe the Mega 1 and the Mega 2 have a 56 volt battery internally. So this will be much more similar to the internal voltage. Okay, those are hooked up now. Let's see if it's compatible. It should be. I need to give it time to step up its power. It's slowly sensing how many amps it can pull. Theoretically, this 480 watts of solar power capacity should be able to fully charge this Mega 2 in a single day if it gets about the full power. The sun's getting a bit more clouded at the moment, or the sky is getting, getting more clouded in front of the sun. And so I feel like it's probably pretty similar. So if you had these both in parallel, it might be about as similar as having them in series like I do. So maybe it doesn't have too hard of a time with it being low voltage. And here I thought, I'd, here I thought it would. I fixed a number of tools today, actually three tools, and I also did some mortar work at the coffee shop. On my way back, I now notice it's at 83%. To, it's accepting 345 watts of power. That's not too bad. So it does seem like it's a full charge in a day with two panels. Well, let's wait and see how it does on hot days. If we can couple that with my other solar panel system, to run the air conditioner in here and maybe the electronics suffice we've had this charging 100 percent, but we don't have a whole, whole lot of heat so we don't have to have the air conditioning running we don't. so i need to use the power somehow i'm going to use it to run the hot plate to distill some of my mineral spirits so i've been doing this thing where i've been using the same paint thinner over and over and over again. I bought a gallon of it to add a little bit back because, you know, some does go away, but I'm on like my fifth time of using some of this paint thinner. So that hot plate uses like a kilowatt hour power, which is half of this. So here's the mineral spirits that I've used. You can see a lot of the pigment goes to the bottom, but it still would take so long for me to actually let it do that that I want to distill some of it. You want to plug that in?
think I filled this up a little bit too much. It's gone all the way up to the neck. I'll see if we can get the be okay. Yeah, I got that filled up a little too high. I didn't realize the bubbles would make it come up that high. But I got it dialed in enough to where it is coming through. So it, it'll work its way back. I just won't ever do it that much. I got through the worst of it and managed to not get any spilled over. Taking out about 90 milliliters so far. That helped a lot. We have to go to a barbecue, but because it's Labor Day. But I was able to half fill up this container of paint thinner, and we used 19% of the battery. Now it's charging again, 250 watts. Not bad. Since my Mega One is at my neighbor's, and I think he took that out on a job, I gotta go do some welding for a neighbor, and, well, I guess I'm gonna be taking this big thing. Come on, turn off. Oh, right, because of solar charging. Right, it won't turn off because it's charging. There we go. Well, it thought if it works. That's pretty well. Man, David made a shitty, shitty fence. Yeah, it's really on a lean. It's been two hours now. Reflects on there. Well, a little bit under two hours actually, judging by that. And we've gone down two degrees. I didn't realize that would write itself. I think that's pretty good. It's the next day. Let's see. It hasn't really charged all that much, but I say let's run the air conditioner a little bit more. I don't want to let that humid air in, but I do love the rain. I'm the opposite of some people where whenever it rains, it's like my sunny day. It's nice and cool. We run the air conditioner for a little while. It's a cool day, but I figured might as well run it a little bit. I didn't know if it was going to heat up today. And we got it down to 57%. And we're charging at 183 watts. Oh, that's the sound of the car outside. I was like, what is that sound? <laughs> I was also using the Mega 2's power to test out this miter saw that I got working. And this is now repaired. I actually brought, I actually bought a assortment of brushes for it. So now I have like a hundred motor brushes. Oh, it's not focusing. We considered you running all the tools that you did. Yeah. Last time. I was talking about it. Made me think. <laughs> I'm still filming a video about this. So, yeah, we've been we've been welding with it, mm -hmm. and um, it was at seventy. If you can weld, I guess you make could run a bandsaw or mm -hmm. table saw or something. The only thing this thing can't seem to run is. I have uh, a neighbor of mine has an air compressor that just takes too much power to start. Mm. But that's the only tool I've been able to find. And it might just need to be that you use the big plug instead of that. But right now we're pulling, we're getting 380 watts in from solar. 
It was at 78% power before, now it's at 59%. And uh, been welding quite a bit of stuff, really. So we've been welding all of this? Yeah. Been doing a lot of pretty thick welds. Not using too much power. It is funny how welding doesn't use nearly as much power as you think it would. Yeah. yeah. So it's a spatialized. Well, but you know, yeah. So you, I didn't know until after. Well, everyone. Yesterday we did a whole bunch of welding and cutting with the the, the van saw, and. It all went, up, went down without a hitch. And this is going to end up probably running um, a band is going to be having a concert. Probably going to have them have this thing run, all of that. But I think we're at the point now where it's not, we're not having hot days right now. And we might only get a few more hot days for the rest of the season. And so maybe I should start thinking about building a kiln so I can use this electricity to melt stuff and do metal castings because I've saved a fair bit of copper and pot metal. Like, I'll probably melt down a lot of this stuff. And uh, that, I'm sure we could we could throw a number of kilowatt hours towards that and actually have a tangible item that we can sell. Either that or I'll mine Dogecoin, but I don't have good enough graphics cards for that. Well, that's pretty much it. The solar panels, I mean, it, it's pretty foggy today, but, or cloudy, but yesterday they, they were making like 400 watts, so they're clearly up there in the right orientation. I figure I'll just check in on them in a few months and see how they weathered. Well, that's, that's where we're off to a pretty good start. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya. Oh, wait, I guess be, this would be a Solar Sunday video, wouldn't it be? Wow. I hope you guys enjoyed this this video and have a happy solar Sunday. See ya.